just my thoughts on a particular video that I saw the other day and it's not just that video I've seen others I mean it's been a while back but every now and then you hear these same kind of um, comments or uh, videos posted by so-called Christian leaders on YouTube but basically it's these people telling other Christians that they should not judge other people and question their salvation. And I disagree. I disagree with this whole notion that we're not supposed to judge people's fruit. The Bible says that by their fruits you shall know, know them and I keep thinking about the Lord Jesus when the disciples asked him what would be the signs of the last days and of his coming Jesus told them over and over and over and over and over again take heed that no man deceive you deception is the major thing deception uh, he said there that there are going to be people coming in his name saying that they are Christ and uh, deceive many. I just simply don't get why these people keep doing this. There's nothing wrong with questioning people's salvation. Just because you question somebody's salvation does not mean you condemn somebody to hell. It's just you're judging their fruit. And we are to judge according to people's fruit, which means their deeds, their behaviors, their actions, their output. Of course, the Bible does say we're not to judge according to appearance. And when it says appearance, it's talking about just superficial stuff like we're not so supposed to judge whether somebody is saved or not based upon um, some kind of food that they eat or a particular uh, form of clothing that they wear. Uh, I mean, not that by that alone, wearing a certain type of clothes or something like that, it may give you an idea of somebody's lifestyle, but you don't know that. Uh, somebody could be wearing, that's all that they have to wear. But we are to judge the fruit, the actions, the behaviors, um, the deeds, the way that people conduct themselves. We are to judge by their fruit, just like God said. Jesus said it. I mean, Jesus told us to judge people's fruit. Uh, so what if we judge people's fruit and these people come up wanting? Uh, they come up not being the fruit of a person who was born again. So that what's the purpose of judging people's fruit if after we judge them and find them wanting to not be able to question their salvation? It's really stupid and it's ridiculous. I mean, what is the purpose? Why is it always that these people have to take the low road? It's like the lowest common denominator. Why can't they encourage people to live for God? And they try to put on us that, we're trying to say that somebody's perfect. That's not it. And it's flesh. Nobody is perfect. But that is the goal. The Bible says many times to be thou perfect as God is perfect. And that don't mean that you think you're all that. That's what we're supposed to aim for. And then another thing, they try to say that if you are trying to uh, live a holy life, that that means that you are for, you know, works. As a, as a mean of salvation and it's a lie holiness and perfection in, in living toward God and godly that is the goal That's perfection is the goal but nobody is perfect you know as long as we're here on this planet in the flesh nobody is going to be perfect but it seems like these so called Christian leaders on YouTube I mean it's like it's the lowest common denominator that you know, it's like a cover to these people, uh, I think, to uh, make a cover for people to just get by and live in their sin. I'm just dumb enough, enough to actually believe God and take him at his word. I mean, 
do you really believe in God and the Holy Spirit can empower you to live a holy, righteous life without sinning? Do you actually believe that? Do you believe God and take him at his word? You can live without sinning every day. You are not sinners anymore. Once you're born again, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. You're, you're born again. That doesn't mean that you never sin again, but um, you're, you're a new creature. And if you're calling yourself a Christian and you sin, I have to sin every single day, there's something wrong with you. It's the Holy Spirit living in you. Do you actually believe that he is God? Do you not think that God, if he's living in you, can prevent you from c committing sins every single day? Are you a Christian that has a form of godliness, but you deny the power of the Holy Ghost? Uh, is, it, is he really living in you? I believe the Holy Spirit. You know, I, I actually believe God. And I do question people's salvation. And that doesn't mean that I'm condemning somebody to hell. If I see somebody sitting around and they're drinking every day and they're drunk every day, staggering up and down the road, and uh, they're supposed to be a Christian, I do question their salvation, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Just because somebody's uh, salvation is questioned, that doesn't mean you condemn anybody to hell. I'm just so sick and tired of people. I mean, instead of encouraging people to live for God and telling them that they don't have to sin every day, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. He's supposed to be living in you. If you walk in the Spirit, God, he He, he can and he does take away the desire to sin. I mean, I, I truly do believe that. If you are alcoholic and you really give your life to God, God can take that taste away from you. You won't even desire. It will make you sick to even think about taking a drink. I believe God. I believe his word. I take him in his word. And I'm just sick and tired of these people. They want to try to blame you uh, and, and accuse you of being a uh, self-righteous Pharisee uh, if you want to live in holiness and you try to hold people up to a, to a higher standard. Not to say that we believe in works-based salvation. That's ridiculous. I mean, and the last time that I saw, it's been a while. I, I don't get on YouTube as much as I used to. It's been maybe a year or so ago. Uh, it was another guy on YouTube, a so-called leader, phony preacher. Come to find out he wasn't a pastor. Um, he was saying, he had a video saying that we should not... Um, question anybody's salvation but then several months later come to find out he was a fornicator shacked up with some woman uh and a daughter staying in the same bedroom where he and this woman shacked up in, in the bed together so the spirit of these people that would do this um i i just um uh, i i don't get it and um we're not in we're not pharisees and uh, they try to bring up this old, dried-up, crusty old example that does not even per pertain to a Christian. We are born again today. We believe in God. We live for the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not against him. And um, talking about, you know, God had the worst words toward the Pharisees, the religious folks. Just because I believe in God and believe in holiness, that doesn't make me religious. I have a relationship with God. And I don't want to disappoint him. And the Holy Spirit gives me power that I don't, I don't desire to be around a bunch of wicked people. And, and, and my, my mind is not fixed on sin every day. You know, I'm just dumb enough to believe God and take him at his word. <laughs> and, and there's something else that it, it just I don't understand. That They said that you're not supposed to um, question somebody's salvation. What is that? Me, personally, I don't care if somebody questions my salvation as long as I know that my relationship with God is okay. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says about me or question my salvation. Say it all you want. Question it all you want. It doesn't bother me one bit. Why should that bother you if somebody questions your salvation? Why should it bother you if your relationship is right on with God? Why should it bother you? But... I am just really sick and tired of these so-called Christian leaders on YouTube. They always take the low road, the low road. And I think it's to give people a cover so that they will feel comfortable in their sin, telling people that they have to sin every day or telling people not to um, 
question other people's salvation, that you can't judge them, their fruit, you know, it's absolutely evil, it's ridiculous, and especially in these last days, we are in the last of the last days. Jesus said, "To by their fruits you shall know them. And he warned us many, many times uh, to take heed that we're not deceived by these people calling themselves Christians. But I'm going to keep on doing what I do. I judge people by their fruit. I don't care if somebody questioned my salvation. But if I see somebody be behavior, and of course I got sense enough to, to not to just look at somebody one time and see them doing something. It has to be uh, uh, their fruits. It's fruits with a plural, an S. Jesus said by their fruits, not just one, but you can see a lot of it. I'm just so sick of these people and these phony Christian leaders telling people that they can't uh, question other people's salvation or judge the other people's fruit. Um, and uh, it, it seems like they're hypocrites, too, because I've seen them do it on their own video channel, uh, questioning other people's salvation. It's hypocrisy. But it just makes me wonder if these people doing this, it's a cover for them to continue in their sin and feel comfortable and not to have somebody question them and question their salvation. Maybe they don't want to lose any subscribers or they're so, supposed to be such big leaders on, on YouTube or something. God is real. He is really, really real. The Holy Ghost is real. He lives in you. <laughs> I'm just a, a, a dumb bumpkin. I believe God. I take him at his word. The Holy Ghost. I take him at his word. He is God. And he can take away your desire for sin. And it doesn't mean that you're trying to be, you know, uh, live a, a works-based salvation. That's not it. The Holy Ghost lives in you. And the Bible says it, be thou perfect. That's the goal. We're not going to be perfect in the flesh, but the goal is perfection in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it's time to stop taking a low road and try to encourage people to live their lives in holiness and righteousness unto God. Thank you for listening.